Welcome back to our third lesson segment. This next segment will give you a little break from the intensity of our last segment. And if you've had a good sense of rhythm, it will certainly be an enjoyable exercise. This next segment is pronunciation. This is a good place to introduce you to another important concept of tutoring English. And I want you to remember this acronym, MRS, which stands for Model, Repeat, Solo. This is the sequence that you will use to teach just about everything in this lesson. You may have noticed that in the vocabulary segment, how the tutors were first modeling what they wanted their students to say, having them repeat it, and then having them solo. This is the same with pronunciation and clap to stress. Notice the columns of each of these pronunciation words. You first say, please listen, and then you point to the letter and say the sound and continue down the column at a moderate speed. There is a learning rhythm and speed, so if you go too slowly, your students will start analyzing the details and try to get ahead of you. If you go too fast, then your students will become frustrated trying to hear the particular sound you're trying to teach them. So keep a moderate rate so they can hear the necessary sounds and exercise their muscles. Go down one column at a time, allowing your students just to listen. Do it twice, each time beginning with, please listen, starting with the letter sound. Then say, please repeat, and go down the column again, having your students repeat what you just modeled. Again, do this twice, on an average, starting with the sound of the letter. Then the third step is to say, please say together, and begin by pointing to the letter prompting them with the routine. The students should solo chorally all together while you point to each word in the column. After doing this two times or so, depending on the skill of your students, have each student read down the column, starting with the letter. After each student solos, then start the process over again with the next column. As the tutor, your role is to listen for your students as they properly pronounce the sound of the letter of the words. There is no need to teach the meaning of the words in the column, nor work on the pronunciation of the entire word, just the specific letter sound. Now let's take a look at what this team did. Please listen. B book, box, boy, basket, baby. Please listen. B, book, box, boy, basket, baby. Please repeat. B, book, box, boy, basket, baby. Please repeat. B, book, box, boy, basket, baby. Good. Please say. B, book, book, box, boy, basket, baby. Excellent. Please say. B, book, box, boy, basket, baby. Excellent, excellent. Rhonda, please say. B, book, box, boy, basket, baby. Excellent job, wonderful. Nathaniel, please say. B, book, box, boy, basket, baby. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. June, please say. B, book, box, boy, basket, baby. Excellent job. Wonderful. Suk. Suk. Please say. B. Book. Box. Boy. Basket. Baby. Excellent job. Wonderful. Please listen. F family. Families. 
father, false, friend. Please listen. Family, families, father, false, friend. Please repeat. Family, families, father, false, friend. Please repeat. Families, families, father, false, friend. Good. Say. Family, families, father, false, friend. Again, say. Family, families, father, false, friend. Very good. Rhonda, will you please say? Family, families, father, false, friend. Very good. Nathaniel, please say. F family, families, father, false, friend. Wonderful. <clears throat> please listen. Mm. Man, men, mother, mothers, me. Please listen. Mm. Man, men, mother, mothers, me. Please repeat. Mm. Mm. Man, men, mother, mothers, me. Repeat. Mm. Mm. Man, men, mother, mothers, me. Very good. Okay, Rhonda. Please say. Mm. Man, men, mother, mothers, me. Very good. Nathaniel. Mm. Man. Looks fun, doesn't it? The best way to determine what the vowel sound is, is to say the words that are below it. That will give you a clue to its particular sound. Now stop the tape and have each team member teach two of the columns from the same lesson, or from a different lesson, just for a change of pace. Well, I hope you found this to be a lot more fun than you expected. Often repetition may become boring to us who know English, but remember that for your students, repetition only reinforces what they are trying to learn. They don't get tired unless you endlessly drill one or two words. You wouldn't dare do that in a children's program at your VBS, so bring variety into your lesson also. Well, this was a quick segment, so let's keep moving along to our next segment. I'll see you right here 